fetal echo is an ultrasound of the fetal heart. So there are certain conditions that we consider um, may present a higher risk for heart abnormality in the developing fetus if there's a family history of any heart defects in the family um, structural heart defects, if there are any heart rhythm abnormalities in the family, for example, if the pregnant mom, if they have gestational diabetes, if they have twins or triplets, these are all conditions that we would consider higher risk. We have some mothers whose babies are noted to have an abnormally fast or abnormally slow heart rate, both of which can be dangerous to the fetus and result in fetal demise or need for early delivery. The more common abnormalities we see are abnorm abnormalities of development, and that can range from a hole that should not be in the heart or a valve that is leaky or narrowed, but it can even go to the spectrum of an entire side of the the heart. If undetected and if they have um, really major structural heart problems, if they are delivered at a tertiary hospital or a hospital that doesn't have um, the NICU or the equipment that we need, um, it can potentially be very dangerous. And so if we do detect one of these major structural heart problems, it can change the entire delivery plan. This is an opportunity for the parents to know that there's something abnormal, to prepare, to educate themselves, for us to educate them, and for us to come up with a care plan and to be able to give the family weeks, if not months, to sort of process what that will look like is incredibly empowering for them. There's so many reasons that early fetal diagnosis are both medically helpful, but as well as emotionally and socially uh, of great benefit to the families.